Hi, I'm Andrea Klein, and I'd like to talk a little bit about a couple of the drills I do. Um, uh, this, is just, this is just a drill I do with one barrel, um, and I basically just use it to, to place my feet, and sometimes I do it with, for speed control. Uh, so I'm going to start mouse out. Um, we're just going to basically go around the barrel, and, I, and I'll, when I do this drill, um, I, I use, like I said, I use it for speed control and also to really be precise about placing the feet. And I do it using two hands. I don't, I don't, I don't go the horn on this drill. And a lot of times I use split reins on this drill. Um, I don't have split reins right today, but um, so I'm going to put two hands on my reins as I'm doing this drill. Again, I want her nose pointed to the ground just slightly, so I put a little bit of pressure on her mouth, just right there. Good girl. Um, my outside hand is down just a tiny bit from my inside hand, um, and my and and my inside hand, I really, really try not to ever cross over. So I pretend like there's a wall going down the the center of my horse's mane, and I don't want that right side to cross over to the left side, uh, and that and and that's just. No, no matter no matter what I'm doing, that left hand needs to stay on the left side, and the right hand needs to stay on the right side. Um, this is a good drill for really any any personality horse. You can have a real easygoing horse, or you can have um, a hotter horse, and and this is a good drill for them. So I'm going to start loping here, and I and you can see I'm probably a good what seven eight feet away from my barrel right now. And that's all I'm doing. And I, I want to stay seven to eight feet because that's what I'm starting out with. And on this particular horse, I don't do um, fast circles because she, it's natural for her to go fast. So last thing I'm going to worry about on this particular horse is speed. The main thing I want is just placing her feet and just her listening and dropping, you know, just keeping that kind of head pointed to the ground, the nose pointed to the ground. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to softly let my horse get tighter and tighter around this barrel. And how I do that is I place a little bit of pressure with my outside leg and ask her to fall in. Now, this particular horse, she dropped out of the lead, so I'm going to let her trot and pick that back up. Good, good. She wants to get faster and she, she would like to really just tighten up, turn it and leave. So I'm keeping her head in line with the rest of, like with her shoulders and I want to keep her rear end in line with the shoulder as well. Okay. And again this is and this is a good drill to show you on, on a hotter horse. She's she's a real busy horse. She likes to run, she likes to play. And as you can see I haven't dropped down and I haven't turned tight yet because she hasn't relaxed with me yet. Okay, now I'm going to start tightening that up, apply a little bit of pressure. Good girl. See, she wanted to get real fast there. And again, it's not a big deal when they mess up. Don't get mad. It's, not, it's just not a big deal. We're just going to tighten that back up again. And in my mind, as I'm working this horse, the second she gives me a tight circle and she calms down, I'm going to stop her. Good. Okay. I'm stopping her right there, okay? And I'm petting her, good girl, good. I don't care that she didn't stop perfect or that she's not in the perfect position, okay? If I wanna do perfect position, I'm gonna go back to that hip control drill and now I'm gonna move her hip in. Good girl, right there, perfect. Pet her and now I may back her up and go the opposite way. All that drill does is just let me place her feet without getting in a big panic. Some, and, I, and again, I know I talk a lot about the horse that is, um, that's uh, busy and real fast with her feet because I have a lot of them that come in. I, I very rarely get the quiet ones. <laughs> I seem to always get the, the real busy ones and the ones that are just real athletic and real fast, which suits me fine. I, I, I love them, so. Okay, so same thing here. Go in the different direction. I just want to drop that nose to the ground. Again, that's real important to me. I want her to be collected as, as, I'm, as I'm loping. When, she, when she's traveling that way, she is giving me more of her um, power from her rear end into the front end. 
Okay, so I'm gonna widen that back out. And how I widen it out is I just start to release a little bit of pressure out of her mouth. And my eyes are looking exactly where I want her feet to land. My eyes are constantly moving. And I'm just thinking about where I want her feet to land. Okay. And again, as I do this drill, I'm constantly having to remind her to put her, to, to keep her nose pointed to the ground. And that goes back to, we're always doing something with these horses. We're always thinking, our minds are always doing something. Now, I want her to close that turn up by staying quiet and doing it smooth and not a big deal. Good girl. So now I'm gonna stop. And on horses that are real, real busy like this, for the most part, I don't expect things to be perfect because they get frustrated really easy. Um, and, and the more, if you get frustrated, they'll feed off that. They, they're, they're real good at doing that. So again, I, I want that hip a little bit in, so I just push it in, pet her again, and back up. And see how it, it's so easy for me to move my horse because she has those fundamentals. She has all, she's, she's, real, she's broke real good. She gives me her nose. She, you know, she don't, it would be real easy to fight with a horse like this because, because of her personality. She's so hot. But just doing those drills and just stay real quiet, real pertinent, and just place those feet. And the second she, get, she throws you a bone, I call it throwing a bone, she throws me a bone, I quit her. I stop, I pet her, and I let her think about that. And, and I get a lot done in a short amount of time without trying to um, tire them out uh, because these horses are supposed to go on to be rodeo horses. They're not, you can't go out there and just try to kill them just to make them pay attention. Um, they, they need to learn that from the beginning. So I, I immediately go to my drill. I placed those feet, we tightened it up, and as soon as she gave me, she threw me a bone, I stopped her. <laughs>